Day, the heartbroken family of Rayshard Brooks speaking for the first time at a news conference. CBS 46's Adam Murphy was there and he joins us now live with more on their really emotional message. Adam. Hey, good evening. I can tell you the family of Rayshard Brooks said he was a loving father of three, a husband, a cousin, an uncle, and he always had a smile on his face. And they obviously believe, certainly indeed believe, he shouldn't have died the way he did. This entire situation has traumatized me and my entire family. I'm sure for the rest of our lives. My uncle did not die in vain. His life mattered. The emotional pain runs deep for the family of Rayshard Brooks. No one walking this green earth expects to be shot and killed like trash in the street for falling asleep in a drive through I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. The I final moments of Brooks' life were caught on camera. After failing a field sobriety test in a Wendy's parking lot, he took an officer's stun gun and ran. Seconds later, one of the officers gunned him down. Let me tell you and show you why shooting in a crowded parking lot is so reckless and so unnecessary of what he did. A witness today sent us his vehicle, which was hit by one of Officer Rose's bullets while he and his kids were in the car. A couple feet up and we would have had another loss of life. The legal team for the family believes police could have shown more empathy, especially when Brooks offered to walk home. I can walk, my, my sister's house is right here. I can walk, my sister's house is right here. That's how this could have ended. How many more protests will it take? to ensure that the next vi victim isn't your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your nephew, your friend, or your companion. When asked why they thought that Brooks resisted arrest in this situation, the family's attorney quickly spoke up and said, George Floyd did not resist arrest, and look how that happened. Live in Atlanta, Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News.